In a recent interview Toprek done with Scotty from the Daisy Dev team, he mentioned in the interview that the Northwest airfield was being reworked, and a lot of people were happy and some were sad about it. Now before we get into the video, I will link Toprex video in the description down below. It's definitely worth the watch. There is a lot of topics covered and a lot of different things teased and stuff like that that will be coming in 2023. But in this video, I'm just going to be covering the Northwest Airfield rework. So when I heard the news about the Northwest Airfield getting a rework, I was quite excited about it and a lot of other people in the community also seemed to be quite excited about it. At first, a lot of people didn't seem to think it was true and it was like some type of joke or some rumor but in actual fact it is 100% true and uh, pretty much confirmed that the Northwest Airfield will be getting some type of rework in 2023. And this made me think what things do I not like about the current airfield that we have and what would make the airfield a, a lot better in my opinion. So I'm going to go through some things I don't like about the airfield and some things that be added to make it a bit better. So for stuff I don't like, I always felt like that there was quite a few useless kind of features on the airfield itself. And one of the things that came straight to my mind was the south barracks of the airfield. These I refer to and a lot of people in the community refer to them as the Armour 3 barracks. So these grey two-storey buildings that, well, are pretty much barracks. That's what they are. And there's a lot of them around. And personally, I've never really enjoyed that area. And for one of the reasons is the lack of loot that those barracks spawn. There is a couple of double door barracks and single barracks around as well that do spawn some decent loot like an M16s, AKs and stuff like that. But for the grey two story ones, they don't really spawn anything at all. They do spawn some clothing here and there. Maybe, maybe if you're lucky you will find like an SKS or something like that. And now I'm basing all of this loot off of official servers by the way and an official spawns. But I always end up skipping those barracks because they're just not worth looting. To me, that side of the airfield in general just isn't really worth looting that much. It seems like a bit of a time waste. I never really find anyone there either. And if I do, they're usually camping in either the HQ building that's like the opposite side or camping in the barracks themselves. Another part of the airfield that doesn't make much sense to me is the construction site. It's another part of the airfield I usually skip. I usually check the bunkers around it and there's like one or two, uh, there's an L-shaped barrack and a single barrack there that I check. But otherwise than that, the construction site itself isn't useful. It doesn't do anything, it doesn't spawn much. Now, the only thing that is good about that area is there is some red door garages that are there that do sometimes spawn grenades if you're lucky. But otherwise than that, it's an area that I don't think many people go to at all because it simply just isn't worth checking out. It's a bit of a time waste. For PvP on the Northwest Airfield, this is very little, especially on the official servers. Now, if you're on modern and stuff like that, usually the Northwest Airfield is like the most popular area, but on official servers, it's weird. It's like people just advise the area entirely. I don't know why this is. I don't know if it's down to the sheer size of the area. You could loot the entire airfield you could even fire some bait shots which i have done in the past and nobody would turn up it's it'd be just a ghost town and it's it's usually quite odd and this can even happen on full pop servers it i don't know how to explain it or i don't know why it happens but it's such an odd thing to happen and it makes going to the airfield quite weird if i do find pvp it's usually either at the tents or bash Another issue that I do find with the current airfield is that you run into that airfield not really feeling anything. Now this might sound weird, but back in the day with the Pine 62 airfield, you ran onto that airfield and you instantly felt paranoid and felt like an eerie feeling around you that you were either being watched or you are about to run into somebody. It just had a lot more of a scary feeling to it. And since the new airfield came in, that has been kind of taken away. You can go onto the airfield nowadays and feel quite safe, especially if there's nobody around at all. You can usually sometimes run around with no gun out whatsoever. And personally, I think it should be the opposite. It should be a high risk area that you visit the airfield, you get in, you loot up and you get out of there as quick as you can. You don't hang around. And I'm hoping with the new rework that they do actually sort this uh, issue out. I think it would revive the airfield's uh, feeling. Now there is a lot of different opinions and there's a lot of stuff I could go into about what's wrong with the airfield and what I like about the airfield, so on and so forth, but the video would be an hour long if I'd done that, so I'm not going to do that. 
And a couple of days ago, I appeared on the Christmas episode of the Daisy podcast. And on that, we had Dancer Jesus on as well, who is one of the mappers for the Daisy dev teams. One of his main roles for 2023 will actually be working on the new airfield. And on that, we had a discussion about ways that we could make the new airfield uh, better. A lot of us agreed on certain aspects like the south side of the airfield definitely needs a complete rework, whether it's taking away a load of those barracks, maybe putting more trees around it. I'm not sure how you could make it better and make it flow better for PvP and loot. We did kind of come up with, like I said, taking away a load of those barracks. I always feel that there is far too many of them around that area and it gives players far too much cover. We also did agree that it would be cool to see some type of underground bunker and tunnel network like Livonia has. The one at Livonia seems to be quite a success and it is a pretty cool aspect of that map. And it's one of the reasons people play Livonia nowadays is to get to that bunker. And it would certainly bring a lot more players to the airfield if it had some type of goal to go there. Say you open the bunker and it has some special loot in there like the one that Livonia does for example. That's Jesus was listening to us talk about all of this stuff and he wouldn't give us any information at all Not a single tease about what could be coming with the airfield and stuff like that He did say that he was taking notes whether he did or not is another thing But I have a feeling he will definitely keep what we said in uh, mind whether any of it actually comes to the airfield We'll have to wait and see but again It would be interesting to see if they're going to combine the current airfield with the old one from the alpha days of day Z and somehow merge the two of them together to make one super airfield or they're just going to completely wipe the one that we have right now and rebuild it from the ground up we honestly don't know what is going to happen we haven't seen or heard any more info about it since they gave that tease and they have been radio silent since and i don't think we're going to get anything until the roadmap in the first quarter of 2023 which hopefully i would have a video on whenever that does come out it's going to be real interesting to see what actually does happen with the airfield Either way, whether they put in aspects of the old one, whether they wipe it clean and start again, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the new airfield. It's always nice to have some new change and refresh uh, the map up every once in a while, especially Turner's as well. I'm glad to see that it's still getting uh, work done to it. There's not many games out there that after nine years, Daisy celebrated its nine year anniversary a couple of days ago. There's not many games out there that would still be updating the original map many years later so it's great to see daisy still doing that and like i said i'm looking forward to seeing what they do and we are definitely going to be playing that a lot when it does come out now that's my take and opinions on the rework whatever happens with the new airfield like i've said before i'm excited to see no matter what i'm excited for the change it's going to be it's going to be good i think i'm i'm excited to have a new airfield that i don't know and hopefully it brings back that eerie kind of paranoid feeling we got with the original northwest airfield but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to give my uh, thoughts and opinions on it i thought it was quite an interesting topic i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this as usual in the comment section down below it's going to be interesting it's going to be a good year for daisy i think again in 2023 and that is pretty much it for this video so i hope you've enjoyed i'm looking forward to reading your thoughts in the comment section down below and until then i'll catch you guys in the next one so peace out for now